Hello everyone and welcome to CWL Builds. I'm Caleb and today we're going to be making this custom EVA battle axe. Okay, so to start off we're going to be using this one and a quarter inch wood dowel. And the one I have is four feet long. And I ended up cutting it in half so I can make two handles that were two feet long. So as they are, they're a little too smooth and nice looking for me. So I'm going to take my belt sander and roughen up all the sides and edges just to make it look a little more hand carved and hand sanded. You know, you could do this by hand or with a Dremel. I'm just doing it with my belt sander because it's faster and I'm kind of lazy. Now, if you wanted your handle to be a little more curved or have some other character, you could carve it from a larger piece of wood or you could make it yourself using PVC and EVA foam like I did in my Leviathan axe. These are upholster tacks, and I'll put a link in the description to where I got them. And I'm using these to look like old nails that you may find in an axe like this. And right now they're pretty shiny and round, so what I'm doing is I'm sanding them a little bit and then coating them in a layer of Mod Podge. And this just adds some texture and makes them look a little older and not as modern. So before you can build the axe, you have to do some design work. And so I draw a couple different designs out and then I pick which one I like best. But you can do any design that you want. I then take that sketch and I turn it into a full size pattern. I end up transferring this paper pattern onto a foam board pattern just to make everything easier, but you don't have to do this. I mark out where our support rod is going to be drilled, and then I find a drill bit that is a little bit bigger than our support rod. I then drill in the center of the dowel right where the support rod is going to go. Now's a good time to stain your wood if you'd like, and I'll be using this red mahogany, and it is the same one that I used on my D&D dice box in a previous video. So I'll be building the main axe head out of this EVA foam floor mat. I sand off the texture on the inside edges just so that the edges stick together nicely and there's no gaps. And this is that support rod I was talking about earlier and it's a piece of thin threaded aluminum rod. And right here I'm just sort of figuring out where I need to bend it in order to fit it inside the axe head. I'll be using this grinding tool on my Dremel in order to make a groove for the threaded rod to sit into. Thank you. 
Now, I don't know if it's very clear in this video, but I'm taking a bit of water in my fingertip and running it along the threaded rod so that when I press the second half of the pattern together, it will leave a mark where the rod is so I know where to make the groove. I then use barge cement to attach both sides permanently together. Now there's a bit of cleanup to do on the edges, I'm not really sure why this didn't match up correctly, but it didn't and it's an easy fix either on the belt sander or you can do it with a Dremel tool. Now if you don't have a belt sander or aren't comfortable using it this close to your hands, a Dremel tool would work fine or you can just hand sand it and use a knife to probably get some of the major chunks off. So I'll be adding runes to one side of my axe, and these are kind of Celtic inspired or Nordic inspired. And if you can tell what this reads, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you catch all the other small drawings that I added to this, there's two other little kind of Easter eggs hidden in this. One is pretty obvious. Now using a soldering iron or a wood burning tool, you can sort of make these runes look like they've been carved into the foam. And you have to do this very carefully because you can easily melt through the whole thing and make sure you're wearing proper eye protection and respirators. I can now work on the other side of the axe head, and I'm just going with this simple V-shape. And I'm cutting it out of foam, same way I made the axe head, and I'm putting it together the same way. But for the rod, I just have to drill a hole in it, I don't have to make the grooves like on the front side. Now as you can see there's a gap between the wood and the EVA foam and that's because it's a flat piece of EVA foam on a curved piece of wood. So I'm going to be taking my Dremel tool and making a curve into the foam in order for it to sit flat against the wood.
Now you could be done with the building right now, but I'm going to be adding a lip or a cheek to this axe and it's going right across the wood there and I'm going to be making it out of thin EVA foam or craft foam. So I made this pattern, I'll be cutting it out and then I'll be attaching it with barge cement. Then I'll be using my Dremel tool and feathering it into the main axe head and butt just so it looks like it's all one piece. I had this EVA foam strip just for decoration. I'm sure in real life it was used for strengthening, but this is just decoration. And now we can add those tacks that we made 10 minutes ago. So now it is time to paint. So I mask off all the wood that I don't want paint on, and then I cover it with a good couple coats of Plasti Dip. After that's dry, I use this metallic Rust-Oleum paint and do another couple layers of that. Then you can start with weathering. I'm using black wash, which is a mix of black acrylic paint and either water or isopropyl alcohol. I rub it on the axe and then I wipe it down and this leaves all that black acrylic paint in all the cracks and crevices. I'm adding a bit of rust to mine and this is just a mix of burnt umber paint and a bit of brown. And I do some slight touches with that and then rub it in with my fingers and it just makes it look a little rusty, a little worse for wear. I ended up not liking how bright silver it was, so I used this metallic finish from Rust-Oleum and did a light coat over the entire thing just to darken the axe head. And now we can undo our masking and see all of our work. I threw together this cool like dragon tooth pommel and uh, I'm going to put a few clips in but I'm not going to go into detail because this video is getting pretty long. Well, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this super fun, easy build. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like, consider subscribing. I have other videos on my channel that you can check out if you enjoyed this one. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.